course, thank you. So I would like to start with a quote from Larry Page, the co-founder of Google and a graduate of Stanford University. Uh, Always strive higher. Uh, my name is Paula Ochoka, and I firmly believe that through hard work, one can accomplish every goal that one sets their mind to. Uh, my passion for chemistry was ignited by my sister, by my older sister in primary school. Uh, in the summer after, uh, in the summer before high school, I decided to participate in the chemistry Olympiad. After a year and a half of intense and systematic preparations, I achieved the title of laureate of the chemistry Olympiad as early as in my second grade of high school. This accomplishment motivated me greatly to continue my efforts and improve my performance the following year. And here we are. Uh, currently, I'm in my third grade of high school, and I have once again become a laureate of the National Chemistry Olympiad. Uh, furthermore, I have qualified among the top eight competitors in Poland who will undergo additional training and examination. Um, and the examination will determine the composition of the four member Polish delegation to the International Chemistry Olympiad in Switzerland, which will take place uh, in July this year. Uh, I expand my chemical knowledge not only uh, by um, solving tasks, but also uh, by uh, taking part in research internships. I have completed two so far. Uh, in my first grade of high school, I um, participated in a 10 month research project, which I conducted at uh, Faculty of Chemistry at Warsaw University of Technology. Uh, my goal was to optimize the synthesis and nitration of the compound called porphyrins, which have potential use in uh, photodynamic cancer treatment. Uh, at the end of the project, I, um, uh, I made a report that summarized my research and uh, presented it in front of the uh, research team. Uh, altogether, I have spent over 50 years uh, in laboratory work. Uh, in the summer after my uh, second grade of high school, I joined the research team of Professor Agnieszka Szumna at the Institute of Organic Chemistry in Warsaw for a three week period. Uh, I make use of my knowledge, not only by participating in competitions, but also by engaging in volunteering work. I am a part of my school's um, program that helps um, peers uh, with science um, subjects. I teach my um, peers uh, chemistry for, um, for an hour once a week. Uh, I also joined the project Klinika Matme, uh, and I taught uh, chemistry to medical uh, staff workers during the COVID-19 pandemic. It is my biggest dream to complete um, an undergraduate um, study at one of the top universities in the United States. Uh, I picture myself uh, among, um, among one of these universities, and I believe that uh, visiting the campus, meeting the Polish Stanford students, or possibly one of the professors will allow me to ask, uh, why did they choose Stanford over other, um, uh, over other um, universities, or whether they have any tips for prospective Stanford Polish students, or what are the possibilities for conducting research uh, as an undergraduate um, student? Uh, in, the first, in my um, second grade of high school, I became extremely interested in neurology, neurobiology, and neuroscience. These are all fields connected to each other. And um, I have always wanted to become a doctor and connect um, treating patients and conducting research in the field of medicine. But only recently I realized that um, I want to pursue my medical degree in the United States, which is a pretty long journey. You first have to complete four years of undergraduate studies and then join a medical school for four years. Uh, but it is my dream and uh, I want to pursue it. So thank you so much for uh, being able to present myself. And um, I would like to end this presentation by quoting uh, the 2022 Nobel Prize winner, uh, a Stanford research chemist, uh, Carolyn Bertozzi. Uh, and she said that if you learned from it, it's not a failure. So uh, thank you very much. And that's it. Very good timing, Paula. So was, um, you, 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 you were within five minutes presentation. So congratulations. Actually, I'm very impressed with your achievements. And clearly, you are not uh, taking any prisoners, at least what we can read from uh, from your motivation letter.
Um, you have cooperated with Polish professors and PhDs, uh, but clearly you, um, and, and also you worked on, on very interesting and challenging projects. But at the same time, you clearly stated that, that you want, that your future studies is actually the, the United States. Why not studies in Poland? Uh, well, um, I have an open path when it comes to studies in Poland. My accomplishments guarantee me a place at Polish, any Polish university. Uh, but I want to aim higher. Um, and it is my, at this point, I could like stop working and only pass my Matura exams and I'll be fine. Uh, but to be able to study uh, abroad and especially in the US among the top universities, uh, you really have to do so much more uh, than that. And I see myself uh, among these highly motivated students and I want to gain the knowledge, gain the experience and then come back to, to share it with, with Poland. And okay, thank you. Um, you also said about the journey in the researches and science uh, in your applications. What do you find the biggest destructors in this kind of scientific journey you have uh, taken so far? Uh, so like negative sides or... Um... Destructors, I mean, what are, exactly, whatever is, 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 is a challenge, is, is something which gets you out of the path that, that, that you are taking. Well, definitely there is a lot of pressure sometimes, especially in, in the Olympic season or any exam season. Uh, but I, I find it partly motivating and um, I, I have, I'm, I'm almost 18 years old, so I have been through a lot of these exams already. And there's always a period when it's intense and then it's a little bit um, more calm. And uh, I know that the, the more calm times will, time, will come uh, either way. So I just have to push through the hard times and then I will be able to rest and uh, slow down for, for some time. Okay, thank you. Zbigniew, um, uh, over to you. Well, I'm, I'm um, very excited to your presentation and more excited by your achievements in that young age. And uh, you have time to, to, to learn and also you'll be active socially. But how do you want to go there? Does it, do you estimate any additional benefits which you will get from this uh, trip to Silicon Valley? Uh, I feel a lot of them. Definitely. Uh, the, the first one which I mentioned in my speech is visiting the, the Stanford University and that's a major one for me because it is one of my dream future universities that I will definitely apply to. Uh, but the other thing uh, is meeting all of the other students who, who want to apply to the USA in the future. Uh, I believe that many of the, the candidates, um, that's their dream also. Uh, so connecting with these people is, is a huge advantage because then you're able to, to work together in the future and, um, and uh, support each other. Uh, but also being able to, to visit uh, LinkedIn and Google headquarters and meet uh, all the inspiring managers and people of success, just people who, who manage their lives and and are able to give young people advice on, on their uh, careers. And um, okay, thank you. No, no more questions. Come. Will over to you now. Thank you. Hello, Paula. It's a very interesting presentation, and you are really a talented person. My question is about your motivation to to strive higher. Is it your own, or is it somehow external? Is it your parents? Is it your uh, family? For your friends? How come you are so ambitious? Well, uh, I have always been alone in my goals and dreams when it comes to, let's say, my, my family and surroundings. Nobody ever pushed me to take part in any competitions. Nobody um, gave me any external like prizes or if you do this, I buy you this or, or something like that. It has always come from, from, from in the inside. Uh, it's just who I am. I, I can't just sit and do nothing. Uh, I have all these resources and, um, and the school that I go to gives me so many opportunities and, and there are so many other talented people. And um, I think that my um, true distinction, what makes me stand out from, from the crowd is that I uh, work really hard and it's not the talent, it's just the, the hours that I put in my uh, achievements. I'm a little bit afraid it could come at a cost, but I hope you manage this. And tell me, assuming you are successful in studying in one of the top US universities, 
Uh, are your professional plans then connected with United States, Europe or Poland or what is the plan? To be honest, I don't know. I don't have any particular reason to, to stay in the US or, or stay in Poland uh, so far. Uh, I see myself in both places. It depends, but I definitely want to, to um, gain my knowledge and education uh, in the US if, if that's. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now it's time for uh, feedback. Yeah. So maybe we'll start from Zbigniew. Uh, yeah, I'm really touched by uh, your motivation and I wish you all the best because you are a hardworking uh, girl, uh, talented, and I hope that you will be able to develop your talent. Thank you very much. Camille? You have a very good story to tell and you tell it very well. So congratulations on this. I think you also deserve a short introduction of ourselves because you didn't get it at the very beginning. So Tomek is a board member at a bank. Zbigniew is a former minister and ZUS board member. I'm a former professional investor and now a chief economist. So for you to know who you talk to, it's also important that you, that you got this information. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Paula, uh, as I said, I'm very impressed with, uh, with your achievements. Uh, I like the presentation. Uh, what I would uh, miss a little bit is uh, your sharing um, uh, for future in terms of when, when you are get there, when you get there and you, you got this experience, uh, I would be interested it, uh, I, I would be interested in how you would like to kind of share your experience with, with, with your society. So th this was this little piece I, I, I missed, uh, but maybe next time we, we, we're going to have a chance to, to talk about that. Of course. Thank you so much. Good, good luck. Uh, we keep the fingers crossed and thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay.